Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I came across this article that was discussing the recent discovery of this new species of millipede and how it had like this crazy alien head and 486 legs and it was kind of translucent. And I was like, oh, that looks cool. But then the article goes on to say that this new creature was discovered in Los Angeles, where I live, <laughs> where no new species of any kind of any animal is ever discovered. And I was, blown away. And the more I read about this thing, the more it started to freak me out. But the story of how this thing was discovered was also very interesting. So it was like 40% ew, 60% juicy story of discovery. So guess what? It's a Monster Monday. I'm taking you guys with me. <laughs> and I'm about to introduce you to this fascinating little nightmare, the Los Angeles Thread Millipede. So the story goes that there were two naturalists out hunting for slugs just outside of LA, you know, the part that actually has trees and grass and stuff, when they came across something that they had never seen before. This tiny little translucent millipede. He's only about the size of a paperclip, but with this crazy looking alien head and 486 legs, which is actually a lot of legs for a millipede. Apparently, despite the name millipede, there is only one known millipede out there that is known to have over a thousand legs. So these naturalists had a suspicion that this might be something a bit unusual. So they took a pic of it and posted it on iNaturalist, which is a citizen science app that monitors biodiversity. And this caught the attention of a Virginia Tech entomologist Paul Merrick, who apparently has alerts set up on this app for these kinds of posts, which is just so nerdy, it warms my heart. Anyway, this discovery piqued his interest because the only other place he knows this family of millipedes to come from in California is hundreds of kilometers north of Los Angeles. So he reaches out to the two naturalists and teams up with them Scooby-Doo style to solve the mystery. What the heck? is this thing. So Dr. Merrick goes to visit family in LA and they travel to the area where the millipedes were discovered to see if they can find more. And after a few days of digging around, they did. Both male and female specimens were discovered, so they scooped them up, put them in plastic vials, and flew them all the way back to Merrick's lab in Virginia. And I'm wondering, do the millipedes go on as carry-on luggage, check bags? These are my questions. With DNA sequencing and a close look at the millipede structure and confirmation of the insane alien head, look at this thing, you guys. Merrick confirmed that the pair of naturalists had uncovered a new species and only the third in the genus Elacme. They published a paper in ZooKeys, which is a peer-reviewed, open-access scientific journal that covers zoological taxonomy. And in that paper, Merrick, the naturalists, and their colleagues dubbed the invertebrate the Los Angeles Thread Millipede, or Elacme SoCal. It joins about 13,000 named millipede species worldwide. But fun fact that I learned in my research, millipedes are not technically insects. They are actually arthropods, more closely related to lobsters, crayfish, and shrimp. They typically dwell in moist areas and are more active at night. And they are among the oldest land animals, having first appeared on Earth about 420 million years ago. And millipedes actually have an important role in our ecosystem as they tend to feed on decaying plant matter. Merrick said, I kind of think about them as the little garbage men of the forest. They just kind of truck around, eat detritus, poop it out, and it's soil. Okay. But I think what really shocked everyone, me included, was that these little guys were found in an intensely urbanized environment like Los Angeles. I think the fact that you can still find new species in a place as populated as this is what kind of made this thing a headline-making discovery. This new species was literally squirming around in the dirt just 10 centimeters underground. All we had to do was look. Dr. Merrick also described the millipede as looking like a big thread that somebody would just pluck out of their shirt, which for some reason super freaked me out. Can you imagine pulling a thread and then being like, oh my God, it's alive. And speaking of freaking out, so I'm doing some research on this story, looking up videos of millipedes and centipedes on the internet. And I find this video titled, Spending Some Time With My Pet Centipede, and I can't tell if it's real. <laughs> Is this real? Whew. 
I mean, I love animals, but it's going to take me a minute to get over that video. <laughs> So anyway, that is the story of the Los Angeles thread millipede. Brand new species of the genus, only discovered because two dudes were out hunting for slugs in LA and a citizen science app. Both facts which actually make me weirdly proud of Los Angeles. Amateur naturalists and citizen science is not exactly what we're known for. So I felt like I had to spread the word. See, we can be other things. It's not just all movies and insanity. Okay, that's it for the video. Please let me know if you think that pet centipede is real. Because maybe it's just AI. Yeah, just AI. Do I want the truth or do I want them to make me feel better? These are the, these are the tough questions of life. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And as always, I will see you in the next video.